Well, some more footage I lost. Just the fucking name of the game with a GoPro. And then he try to call him and he gets some service rep from fucking the Philippines or India. Uh, I would like a new GoPro, but I bought the insurance a year ago. And then when I called them to fucking get a new camera, they wanted another 180 bucks. So there was actually no difference whether you buy the fucking insurance or not. <laughs> I had some great footage from uh, two Baptist churches and got a huge resupply from Crazy Larry's Hiker Box. This knucklehead Byron running this other church. Found some whiskey on trail. Did a 27 mile day. Forgot it was uh, Saturday, not Sunday, a few days ago. And ended up taking a Nero and Troutdale, which was uh, interesting. Had a bunkhouse all to myself and should have uploaded the footage last night when I viewed it. And now it is an error. So we'll see if I can even fucking get the the camera footage back when I get some Wi-Fi, but uh, it's looking like I may have lost oh, it. fuck, man. I'll tell you what, I'm truly disappointed with my GoPro. Last year on the CDT, I lost footage. Some of the best days I've spent hiking in the um, Big Sky alternate, lost that. Lost Yellowstone, lost Old Faithful. All of which were on my SD card, but I went to upload it and then I just went error. It just says error, please format. And if you format it, you lose everything. I know if I have a laptop, I can give some guy back home some money and he can somehow unlock the corrupted. I think they're like corrupted files. iPhone doesn't cut it. And that's what I'm working off of. So I lost Grayson Highlands. I lost footage. A great day I spent walking through pastures had some horses lick me had some really great photos um 27 miles up to the tallest point of uh, virginia mount rogers went up there and then realized that it was uh saturday not sunday and then i busted a nero in troutdale and had a bunkhouse to myself um prior to that day i had rolled up after 27 miles rolled up to a camp spot found some whiskey a full bottle of whiskey and then i even did a little like eating with tapeworm special and i viewed all of this footage last night before i went to sleep and i kept thinking i had this voice like upload it upload it upload it but i was just so lazy and i didn't i wake up this morning i hit record and then it goes air and i'm like fuck so i try to all morning i've been walking and looking at my goddamn phone and you know it's definitely uh i just laugh at it now you can't even you can't get mad it's gonna happen with a gopro or i believe any really sd card i'm not sure if dslr cameras experience the same bullshit, but i can't help but just laugh it's like fuck it i have those moments ingrained in my mind unfortunately i can't share them with you i'm at this moment I went through the same thing on the CDT last year and on the AZT. And um, it's really funny. It's always like this coincidence of like some of the best hiking I've had solo. Couple white tail. All right. Hey, buddy. Seen a handful of white tails so far. All right. Made it to the road crossing. Virginia Highway 16, Sugar Grove. I'm gonna go to Marion. We might get a fucking hitch. Uh, 
Although I lost that footage yesterday, or today, of yesterday, I'm still making the best out here. And I pushed uh, about 17, 18 miles today so far. Uh, and um, I found myself a Wendy's. Oh. No, you're good, man. <laughs> found myself a Wendy's, and I'm just going to calorie up. Um, use their Wi-Fi, upload a video. Um, I do have another one on the way, so enjoy that. And um, yeah, I found myself a Wendy's. I love Wendy's. <laughs> Give me a Frosty. They got $5 meal deals, $4 meal deals. They even have family size for 12 bucks. I think you get like 50 nuggets, 2,300 calories, plus all the dips. <laughs> so I might just do that. Um, yeah, I fucking hitch back by tonight. Uh, worst comes at worst. I just fall asleep right here at this nice little river. See, this is what I've known as stealth camping. When you go into towns, you don't want to pay for a hotel. You might not have the budget, so you find a legit spot like this. This is like a stone company. No one will be here at this rail yard and stone the stone company at around 5 o'clock. Then there's this nice little grass field. I got a water source right here. I could filter that. I might just do that. So if I get caught up and I eat too much and uh, you know, what's the rush? Fuck it. <laughs> so we, uh, the trail provides, like I said, don't make plans on through hikes. Be as flexible as you can. I ran into Thunderbird and he was with Swerve fruit fly tumbleweed and muppet and uh, they invited all of us over to a house a friend of a friend and uh they took us in for the night gonna feed us shower laundry and a place to stay i think we're gonna cowboy camp up top here it's supposed to rain so keep the shit dry like 8 .50, which i think is very reasonable with like my shoes Back on trail. Woo! Back on trail. Uh, we met um, Muppet, Tumbleweed, Fruit Fly, and Swerve. And uh, Swerve had a friend, uh, I believe it was her friend's aunt or her distant friend's uh, relative. But anyway, uh, we got taken in for the night, got taken care of, food, shelter, the works, uh, cinnamon rolls this morning, coffee, out of the Keurig, and we are hiking out of the uh, road crossing, um, I believe it's uh, Virginia, State High or Virginia State Highway 16, and we got like uh, roughly, uh, I'm not sure the mileage, I'll fucking put it up on the screen, 50 to what? I don't know. We're going to Bland, Virginia, where it's apparently very bland. Well, I just pulled out my GoPro, I got 3%. I guess I've been filming the last 40 fucking minutes. But we are gonna walk seven more miles to some barbecue spot and grab some barbecue food and some beer, of course, and maybe camp out there or camp out a mile or so, two miles out from the barbecue spot. Turns out the barbecue spot is closed. It's not Monday through Friday, but Friday through Monday. And oh Lord, it's Tuesday. So we're going to this museum. There's apparently a trail magic box in the schoolhouse. So we'll see what's good with this. Some loud electricity. 20 bucks, touch it. Who's gonna dare me to climb to the top and touch it? Okay, there's a pack. There's a pack, there's a school. There's a pack out front of this house. That means there's magic. Where's the magic? Give me the magic. There's a 
There is stuff. Where? <gasps> yes. Uh -huh. Huh? No, Egg needs to sound gas. Oh yeah, good lord looking out for us AT hikers. <sighs> this is an example of a one room school back in 1894 where teachers were making 30 bucks a month to teach little scoundrel fucking kids. Just like me. We must be close to bland. <laughs> kind of bland. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven alpacas. And they want us. They want us or some food. I want to snuggle with them. It's drizzling right now. The Mick drizzling. But it looks like a storm is supposed to like hammer down a little bit for an hour. So we are going to go to the barbecue spot. They probably have a balcony. Let the storm pass and then keep a pizza place and a gas station. So I am at Burrito, El Burrito Loco Mexican restaurant. And there is some Hispanic people in here cooking the food and taking the orders. So that is a good sign. Um, I got myself a jumbo burrito. Oh, look at these hikers, they look lost. And uh, I am with uh, Thunderbird and He's not feeling it today. So we're gonna eat and chill, let this rain die down. It's pretty much drizzling, pretty weak. Nothing significant. Um, so we'll see how far we get today. <laughs> That's a jumbo burrito. That's a jumbo burrito, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nine bucks. <laughs> All right, that's a wrap. We ended up doing Burrito Loco. Got us a jumbo burrito. And uh, hiked a whole mile out from the gas station. So we uh, are going to bust a big day tomorrow. And then we'll have 15 miles left to Bland. And uh, we're going to try to push. We're going to push 30 miles tomorrow. Signing off. Time to watch. Good that. morning. It is 547 and me and Thunderbird are gonna get it cracking. 30 mile day today. To carve in cabin, something or another. We'll be 15 out from Bland. Let's get it. You Oh yeah, so we are 10 miles in, it's 10 o'clock. And we are going through these rolly hills of Virginia with these cute little grassy knolls. Oh, look at that, a seashell. Muscle. They got oysters here. They got some oysters here. But uh, tell you what, the last town that I went in, which is a little gas station stop, with, I forgot, Burrito Loco restaurant. Yeah. There was a lot of crackheads. I have to say, out here in some of these little towns in Virginia, seems like methamphetamine or crack is kind of a huge problem. And uh, it's not too comforting, but it's okay. I just thought I'd share that with y'all.
<laughs> That's what's dangerous about these boys. Someone's gonna die on these. Oh, no, here's the fucking crazy river crossing. Oh my lord. Don't fucking worry, you just get a little wet or you take your shoes off and don't get wet. Go live. What is up? It is a little after four o'clock and me and Thunderbird are roughly 21 miles in. Um, the weather is fairly nice. It's hard to believe in like two or three days it's supposed to snow. Um, so we will see how that's going to be. It looks like Saturday, Sunday, a little cold front's coming in. It's gonna get down to like 26 degrees. So um, I guess I'm just gonna have to roll the dice and see exactly where I'm gonna be at in two or three days as uh, me and Thunderbird will be getting into Bland tomorrow. So um, just making my way up this last little climb up to some top notch shelter and then uh, we'll have another six or seven miles um, downhill, a little uphill to um, something cabin, so I will haul it back. Shitty money. That's a hell of a hiker name. Town County. Grizz. Look at that. That is a cool ass drawing. Hey, peace out, dude. See you later, man. Take it easy. You too, brother. Yo, we did 27, 28 miles today. A little shy of 30. But that is all right. We got a pretty nice spot. And there's no water along this ridge. And I guess down the valley is Amish country, but it's a nice little spot. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight miles. Not bad. Not a bad day, right, Thunderbird? Uh -uh. Well, I guess the storm came through. I fell asleep with my door open. Me and Thunderbird both got great sleep last night. Something about the rain pitter-pattering over the tent just knocks you out. But I uh, woke up a little, a little wet, but that's okay. Because I, uh, again, fell asleep with my fucking door open, but... I slept really well, <laughs> so it's all good, and I'm still warm. So uh, we got 20 miles, we got 19-ish, almost 20 miles to the next highway crossing to get into Blaine. All right, four and a half miles in. I don't know what time it is. Whoever's catching water, pick up your damn trash. You know, so I can't tell you how many churches I've gotten trail magic from. And the other day I pulled out a bar and I go, this shit don't taste right. I looked at the expiration. This one says Best Buy. April Best Buy April 16th, 2019. So they're giving us fucking so-called trail magic that's three years old. What kind of sick joke is that? I'm gonna get sick. Moving along pretty quick. 
I've um, got Thunderbird in the back and I must be probably like six miles out from Bland or the highway to get into Bland. Feeling good. Uh, gotta get into town and dry my stuff off. Resupply, charge up, and uh, as well as Thunderbird. So we'll be in and out of Bland. I heard it's nothing special, it's pretty bland. And um, yeah, just been cruising these easy Virginia miles. I'm right to the road crossing to get to Bland. And there's a trail shop, but they only accept cash, so that's a no-go. And we've had uh, probably like six cars pass. Sweet. Took like 10 minutes. The easy hitch. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, it's the town of Bland. There's not one stop sign in the whole fucking town. Love it. That tells you how small it is. But it's not so bland. It's cute. Plenty of people in the grocery stores talking like, what? New. Oh, yeah. They're right over there. They got fresh. So it's nice and comforting to be in a little town here. Where are we going? Oh yeah, much needed calories. Mmm. She was like, choose any canned soda. I was like, all right, or canned drink. I was like, all right. She's like, I was like, this couch. She's like, no. I was like, I'm kidding. Oh yeah. So after breaking Thunderbird's balls, he hit the trigger and he bought some ultralight gear. He got an enlightened equipment, 40 degree quilt, bold move, real stubborn. And then he got a duplex by z -Pax, the new fucking pro duplex, L. duplex XL. So once he sets this thing up, we'll be able to do like a little gear review and uh, we'll compare it to the Altiplex. And as well as uh, he's like six foot one, I'm six foot four. So we'll see how it works for us tall people, but check it out. It's like Christmas. Sheesh! Mm. How many ounces? 22. No, 21. 21 ounces. 21 ounces, baby. Oh. See how they wrap that? You gotta wrap it like that every time now. Yeah, I know. It has little rising bars. Make sure bars. when you undo it, pay attention to that fucking how, you how they wrapped it. Yeah. Just keep it nice. Keep it nice. Ultra light, baby. Be ultra light. Don't talk ultra light. Just be ultra light. It's that easy. Buy fucking one set of uh, supplies and equipment and gear. You don't have to buy shit again for fucking a few years. So it is expensive, but it's worth it because you're going to spend twice the fucking money you buy Another gear thing. from REI, you know? Mm -hmm. So look at his face. Spruce green, baby. Spruce green. They're pretty fresh. Fancy little clips. Yeah, we'll set up together today. We'll see how she feels. Yeah, I want to see how much room is in there. Okay. We're gonna be home for the night. We're at this little like pavilion by the public park, and uh, one old man came by and got his steps in. Was doing a few laps around the park. Other than that, no one has bothered us or made eye contact. So. We got the works, we got the cables going, we got the Netflix. We should go. Let's get it. Let's get it, motherfucker. I'm a frog. <laughs> Look at these mean ass vultures. Big birds. Look at you fuckers. You bunch of derelicts. So we are hitching out of Bland, Virginia. It's around 8 in the morning. And we're going to bust 24 by 4 o'clock when a storm's supposed to come in. And other than that, we'll leave uh, 24 for the following day to get into Parisburg where I have some parcels to pick up. 
and then we're gonna keep pressing out uh, in and out of there keep pressing north to Roanoke and we'll take a zero there so we are at the outpost right here at the road crossing they got enough food for you to resupply it's a little marked up but it is what it is they got a good burger and breakfast give it a whirl an ultralight yet I said almost we're gonna shake down this kid's pack in uh, Roanoke <laughs> what is it called? Roanoke. Roanoke. Roanoke? Roanoke. Roanoke. Goddamn Californian out here. We got 44 miles to Parisburg. And it's pretty damn mellow. I think the biggest climb's like 500 feet. <laughs> so we shall be cruising along and we won't see much of a fucking storm or a cold front coming in. So we'll see if that storm comes in at four. Me and Thunderbird are about a mile out from uh, Trent's Grocery and it's starting to rain now and uh, we're about 19-ish miles in so far it's 3.30 and I gotta put this camera away because it's starting to rain a little bit I gotta get my umbrella Just ran into Aquaman, the legendary southbounder that's been hiking since December. Shout out to fucking Aquaman, dude. That's mad respect. I've been watching that dude's videos for months and I'm going, who is this fucking nut out there in the winter storms? But dude, he's three, more than three fourths the way or about three fourths the way done. He's got 600 miles and he's gonna wrap this uh, baby up, so. Good shit, Aquaman. This is Mile Falls. Just outside of Trent's Grocery. A nice little swimming hole if it was a little warmer. Great cowboy camp spots. Right there. But well, we got some rain coming in and maybe a little flurries, quarter inch of snow. We're gonna camp up top there. Call it for the day, 23 miles for the day. Good day, it's around five o'clock-ish. I'll holler back. Oh. Oh. Today was a good day. 23 miles by four or five-ish. Got a tall can of beer. Ate like a thousand calories with the Spam. A mountain house from two years ago that's expired, but it tasted fine. And um, we got 25 left to, uh, 25 left to uh, Harrisburg. Harrisburg, that's right. Good morning. It's a little bit before seven o'clock and we got 25 miles to Parisburg. It's a 6.6% grade, 4,000 up, 4,000 down. Probably the easiest day that I've seen in the last two weeks. So it should be pretty simple. Um, it's snowed around midnight to four o'clock in the morning. Shortly after four, I took a shit. Nice monster shit. I ate a block of Spam, a whole can yesterday, half a block of cheese, two bagels, a lot of cream cheese, about a half a bag of Doritos, 
about a half pack of golden Oreos, scoops of, of Nutella, and some other shit that I'm not mentioning that I can't remember at the moment, but, um, oh yeah, and a burger. Look at this is what happens when you push out when there's a storm coming. A little snow, a little sherbet morning sky next to a beautiful river. So we made it to Parisburg. I did not film fucking most of the day because my camera was not working. And of course, right when I get here, it's working. But as you can see, it is snowing. It's like a complete whiteout right now. It's kind of unbelievable how hard it's snowing. And uh, it started right when we got here. So we kind of lucked out um, 26 miles a day, 23 yesterday. We got like 90 something miles to Roanoke. 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 I've been having uh, major camera issues with my batteries, my charging port, this whole fucking GoPro thing is trash. So um, I apologize for the inconvenience, but stay tuned.